California Proposition 65 warning. This product may expose you to chemicals, including lead, known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. I've already drank it. Yeah, but you did. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about protein powders. We're gonna be going through four different proteins, and I have a little special guest. Let me just go get them really quick. <laughs> you did that very well. I knew there were chairs involved. <laughs> this is Jared. We're fiancés now. How oh, wild are. is that? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your video. ring? I was filming an audition video where I had to be not in Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's in the ring bowl. Starting it off great. Where's your ring? So, it's I on, can't see it. It's on my hand. <laughs> okay, so today we are going through four different proteins and we're going to do a little blind taste test. I've tasted all of these, uh, but I want to see Jared's perspective. Mm -hmm. They're not all the same flavor, which in hindsight might have been better. But honestly, I think this is going to be pretty funny. I think that it will be very telling just what flavors are universal, worldwide, and Jared's palate, you know, it, it's very advanced. So I'm something of a sommelier. Yeah, you can of, of protein powder, so you can oh, really trust everything. it. Okay, let's hop right into it. Are you okay? Go okay, Jared, I have our first protein powder. Okay. Here it is. Okay, and it is in this shaker. I put the same amount of water in all the shakers. And the same amount of protein. And the same amount of protein, yeah. It's one serving and eight ounces of water, so. Okay, the first thing I'm tasting is very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. I think it's, I would say it's chocolate. There's not a lot of grittiness to it. Yeah, that's good. I did shake it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's very, um, Creamy. It seems Good. to linger. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting. You don't think it's creamy? I, I never said that. It's your initial taste was very interesting. That it's chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's just really sweet. Actually, is what it is. It only has one gram of sugar. So. Well, something else in there is there's making it sweet. Sugar in there. I don't think there's many other flavors. Maybe yeah. it's vanilla. Oh, I feel like I'm lost. We would say like chocolate and vanilla the are opposite. opposites. <laughs> yeah. It's just sweet, but it's not peanut butter. I wouldn't say. I could say vanilla. Okay. Is I'm getting artificial sweetener vanilla. Is that your final? It is. Final, yes. Okay. Final offer. Vanilla. Moving on. Did you show them first? Yeah, I'm gonna show them. Here we go. Yeah, it sounds like hot. I don't know if this is gonna focus or not. We'll see. I really can't smell this one as much. Okay. Interesting. Um, that tastes like milk. I'm thinking that that's milk based. Okay. Milky, not gritty. Yep. Less sweet than the other one. Okay. Which I really appreciate. This one has two grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could drink this so fast. I think that this is chocolate milk. Okay, but final offer. Mm -hmm. Should we make you drink like the entire protein shake of all of them? Oh, That'd be okay. like, you know, <laughs> be like 100 grams of protein. It'd probably be pretty good. Okay, um, so chocolate for this one. So far, yes, and very drinkable. Would you say the last one was not drinkable? I, honestly, it was so sweet. Okay, too sweet. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'll take that back from you. Okay, next one. Here, you can hold on to this. Don't be rude. <laughs> I know where you are. This one's more of a niche flavor, we'll mm -hmm. say. Raspberry. <laughs> no, this berry. is peanut butter for sure. Yeah. Peanut butter is pretty easy to smell, huh? Mm -hmm. Again, it's definitely peanut butter. I would say this has the most consistent flavor. Like, it's peanut butter from top to bottom. <laughs> Starts with peanut butter, finishes peanut butter, and peanut butter all the way through. I, I didn't realize that the other ones didn't have consistent flavor. I they think that's did. more let of a me, thing. No, no, let me go back. They did, because like you couldn't really smell them. They didn't smell like vanilla or chocolate. They kind of tasted like the narrow chocolate somewhere in the middle, you know? It might be the artificial sweeteners that they use. Mm -hmm. They kind part. of make it a little confusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think very drinkable. Uh, it's still sweet. This Ooh. one has two grams of sugar. I would say it is less sweet than the one I would just taste at number two. No, no, sorry. It's more sweet than number two, but less sweet than number one. Okay. You know, it's, it's interesting. very pleasing to me, but it does taste like dessert. Okay. It's interesting that that's kind of like what they opt for for proteins. Mm -hmm. Like they make them overly sweet rather than like something that's just like pleasantly palatable, you know? I guess maybe it's encouraging to people. They're like, oh, you can think of this protein drink as a dessert, but I don't really want that. Well, I also wonder what like, we've tried unflavored proteins before and that is not the vibe. You know? Yeah, but you there has to be like a middle ground, right? So, yeah. Maybe it's this one. 
Yeah, I, I actually don't like peanut butter as a solo flavor. I don't even like chocolate peanut butter things, but I do like this. Oh, interesting. This I thought was really funny. And in California, they make you put insane things on their packaging. Mm -hmm. Like, that you have to put so much stuff, so many different warnings that could be. But this was hilarious. I don't think it's actually dangerous, but lol. I've already drank it. Yeah, but you did. <laughs> California Proposition 65 warning. This product may expose you to chemicals, including lead, known to the state of California to cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well. It's okay. It tastes good. You'll be fine. Just yeah. don't drink any more of it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, our final one. Can you see it? I'm trying to cover, it's not the flavor that, of this package, because I only got a few of these packages, so. What flavor is it? I can't tell you. Kind of tricky. Here you go. Hmm. Um, oh my god. Oh. So it smells like vegetables. Oh my god. It is very foamy, but possibly because you just shook it so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a second to calm down. It smells like rabbit food. Sorry to these people. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> You're savage. I, it, um, I don't know what it tastes like. You don't. You can't discern a flavor. Honestly, the flavor is, um, the flavor is like, <laughs> like hay. It's not even I, like a plant-based protein. Well, it should have been. <laughs> try it again. Try it again. You try it. No, no, no. The consistency is like water with like. What have you done? <laughs> I didn't do anything. No, I swear. Is this protein? This is protein. It's grass-fed whey. With no flavor. No, it has it has flavor. You can't taste the flavor in it. There's no flavor in this. There is. No. Let's There's no it. sweetness. This is my least favorite. This one has coconut sugar in it. Well, not enough. Five grams. Well, not again. But it's kind of interesting because like this one doesn't have artificial sweeteners in it. But that's okay. I don't mind that. But what is the flavor supposed to be? Smell this. Oh, I don't mind that so much. It's like an earthy taste. It. <laughs> it's kind of exactly what we were asking for. We no, were asking for a protein no. that like is not too sweet but it has a little. It tastes what do you like mean? the rabbit pellets have been watered down. Yeah, I don't know if it I could drink an entire like blender egg. bottle of this. Well, you're supposed to. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of gagging a little bit. I was gagging a lot. But yeah, that is interesting because this one has like a lot of press. It definitely is a pretty popular one. I believe it's very good for you. Hmm? And I think in a smoothie, you'd probably be fine. Which is another point that I'll make. That would probably be great in a smoothie. Some of the other ones are so flavor forward, like the peanut butter one, or perhaps the vanilla one. Yeah. That if you put some frozen fruit in there, it would end up being like really, really sweet, like a milkshake. Okay, yeah. What did you just feed me? Number one was the my protein. So this is a whey protein. This was vanilla. So you got there in the end, but you did start but with chocolate. Smell this. That doesn't smell like chocolate either. It just smells like artificial sweetener. Yeah. It was so sweet it was hard to tell. I will say, generally, the vanilla proteins taste worse to me because the artificial sweeteners, I don't think react that well with vanilla bean or like vanilla extract. I think it does do pretty well generally with chocolate. Yeah. So I'm not surprised that you didn't like this vanilla. I'm interested in trying the chocolate. I'll get that one next. I would put that in a smoothie and see. I just think on its own. But yeah, that one was not your favorite. This one, you recognize and because we have those a lot. We have these all the time. This is Fair Life Nutrition. Love this one because it doesn't have any lactose in it and it has 30 grams of protein. It's not going to be the same whey protein that you would get in like a 100% grass fed whey that some of these proteins have, but it is a really, really easy, good option and it tastes so good. It tastes really good. What is the difference though? I mean, what kind of protein is in that though? This is going to be a mix of whey and casein protein oh. because milk protein is not completely whey. You know, and whey is going to be that main muscle building protein. So like, distract. this has some extra in it. Your body's going to use it. It's going to metabolize it in other processes that isn't necessarily just muscle building. That's good because like we need protein for a lot of different reasons. But across the board, these always taste good. And just it's like a good. smaller bottle than that. Having to drink a whole blender bottle of the other. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure like scoop for scoop, these are probably cheaper. Although. I doubt by that much. I get these at Costco. Right. And probably better for the environment, obviously, because you're not using like this reusable or the non reusable plastic. Yeah. But they're very convenient. And they very easy to bring to work. Good. They taste very good. So we do love the Fair Life protein. Okay, number three was Podium. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try this brand because Matt Fraser recommends it. Uh, he's the fittest man in the world for like 
five years, six years. And so I thought peanut butter crunch sounded interesting. And I famously do not like peanut butter. Yeah. I, it is pretty good. And I've been drinking it in my smoothies in the morning. Yeah. I recognize this one as well. Yeah. I like this one too. I think, you know, the, this was the one that had the, the California love. Proposition I mean, okay 65. I think we're fine too. But it's like two grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and 27 grams of protein. And that honestly is like a perfect balance for a protein powder to me. So. Yeah. And lastly. Okay. And lastly, your fave. The rabbit food, I'm sorry. Is the naked way. What? It was um, naked. It came right out of the ground. Which is like the point, right? It's like, it's supposed to be bare bones. You're really not putting anything into your body that you don't know what it is. That's kind of their ethos, you know, so. It was bad on its own. I, mm -hmm. I, I really appreciate them only using, what, four ingredients? Mm -hmm. Whey protein concentrate, organic coconut sugar, natural vanilla flavor. That's great. I like natural sugar versus like artificial sweeteners. I think that that made it way less sweet. And so our conversation about saying like, well, we wish it was a little bit sweeter than this, mm -hmm. but not so sweet as artificial sweeteners. Fair life first mm -hmm. or podium first? Fair life, but I feel like it's kind of different. Yeah, it is different. Fair it's life, different, yeah. podium, the vanilla one at the beginning. Yeah, the my protein. And then this. And then the naked protein. Mm -hmm. Although I assume naked would do better in a smoothie, like I said. Can you serve it in bed to me, in bed? Can you bring them to me in bed? No. Uh, <laughs> it's worth a shot. Okay, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching our protein taste test, blind taste test. Mm -hmm. Really fun for you. I should just keep on feeding you things I would and letting that. you taste them. Sounds like a deal. Bye.